very few names in this business that can actually be considered royalty, uh, from the king, Elvis Presley, to, of course, Queen, uh, the king of soul R&B, uh, Solomon Burke. And uh, but we're very lucky tonight. We get to induct the king of pop, Mr. Michael Jackson. From that extremely cool and yet astonishing, talented little boy, leading the Jackson Five, to the solo artist who knocked us out with hit after hit until he had not only racked up more awards than any musical artist in history, but infiltrated the sounds of our lives. While all this time we thought we knew him so well, it was he who knew us. He knew what would move us emotionally, he knew what would make us move onto the dance floor in vain attempts to imitate his amazing and completely original dance steps. Uh, we knew the words, uh, well, he knew the words that we wanted to say and the sounds we wanted to hear. When the Jackson 5 was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Michael became the youngest living artist to be honored. Tonight, he has broken his own record by becoming the youngest living solo artist to be inducted. But that's far from the only record held by Michael. He's had the longest span of number one hits in the US. He shares the record for most Grammys won in a single year. He holds the record for an album going to number one in more countries than any musician in history. He holds the record for the most number one singles from an album. And he co-wrote the biggest selling single of all time, We Are The World. For more than 35 years, Michael Jackson has been the man in the mirror. He thrilled us with the thriller, the largest selling album of all time, beat us at our own game with Beat It. He rocked us to our souls with Rock With You. He's bad, he's dangerous, and if he thinks we're gonna let him stop because we had enough, as they so often say in this city, forget about it. <laughs> there ain't no stopping, there ain't no enough. He's the king of pop, the one, the only, Michael Jackson. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you so very much. Thank you, NSYNC. I, uh, I am so proud to call you my friends. You're all so wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> this is such a tremendous honor, and I am so happy to be here. As you can see, there's not going to be any moonwalking tonight because I broke my foot dancing. I fell down the stairs in California, and uh, I broke my foot in two places. So, but. It's, I have about like uh, six more weeks with this cast, so it's going to come off soon. <laughs> um, I'm, honored, I'm honored to be inducted twice in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It's a great blessing. For me, the gift of music has been a blessing from God from the time I was a child. So I, first of all, would like to thank my parents who bequeathed me that gift. To my mother, Catherine, and to my father, Joseph Jackson, I love you both. <laughs> to my brothers and my sisters, thank you. You are so wonderful. Rabbi Shmuley, I love you. And thank you for helping me launch Heal the Kids. Barry Gordy, Barry Gordy, Barry Gordy, Barry Gordy. <laughs> As it was in the beginning, so many of us um, I just have to say um, thank you. He was so important in our lives, and uh, he is really my real inspiration, and I owe him so much. Quincy Jones, thank you. We talk about a thriller. It's Quincy, um, you're incredible. I love you, Quincy. Uh, he is the man. Uh, the glamorous, no. <laughs> Thank you. The glamorous and talented and beautiful Diana Ross, who is my who is my second mother. I thank you. 
Tommy Matola, Sony, I love you. Thank you, the fans. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>